Hello ladies, been a while, hasn't it? I have a wig review today, and I'm not so sure it's really a wig review more than, as much as it's a color spotlight, because I've never had this color before. Um, you will recognize this wig maybe. This is the Beltress Kona. And uh, I had this in brown sugar sweet cream. Before I began my transition to gray journey, nothing wrong, brown sugar sweet cream, beautiful. My favorite color. Um, until I decided I was not going to go with those kind of colors anymore. This was quite a an experiment. Um, this color is Cream Soda Blonde. The reason I decided to try this is because I've had Butterbeer Blonde, as you recall, on Caliente. And uh, Cream Soda Blonde has been called Butterbeer Blonde without the root. Well, um, Cream Soda Blonde is described as Sandy Blonde ash blonde and light blonde with a hint of satin blonde. I'm personally not really sure what satin blonde is <laughs> exactly, but that is the way they describe it. And the only difference between that and butterbeer blonde is butterbeer blonde has a medium brown root and it doesn't mention satin blonde. So I'm thinking because I've been wearing almost exclusively the Hanti January in Martini, um, I'm thinking that the ashiness of this particular color and it's not quite as ashy because it has no gray in it like Martini does. Um, I was thinking this would be an excellent transition to gray color. It's definitely in the very light blonde category. If you were all gray, you know, you would be kind of tweaking that over just a little bit with some gray. But let me turn around and show you Cream Soda Blonde on Kona from all sides here so you can kind of see for yourself. So what do you think? I know it's quite a shock when I look in the mirror and I see these really light blondes on me because my hair is, it's blonde, but it's a dark blonde and I'm not even half gray yet. So it's really kind of a shock to see the grays, but you know, I'm almost 65. So I figure why couldn't I pull it off with my Scandinavian skin tone and you know, why couldn't I, and green eyes, why couldn't I pull this off, right? So um, this is such a beautiful color. You can see the sandy blonde in here, the sandy tones. There's, of course, cream soda blonde it is not a rooted color, as we mentioned before. Oh, I love Kona. I think Kona is the perfect length. It's not too short, it's not too long. It has all these very casual ways. It has an extended nape. It has the pull adjusters, not my favorite, but I can live with it. And of course, the very beautiful lace front. Isn't this gorgeous? Now, if my fingers look a little purple, it's because I've been picking elderberries <laughs> and ready in uh, preparation for processing elderberry syrup next month. But Kona has a seven inch bang, it has a four and a half inch nape. Those to me are the most important um, statistics of a wig. And of course, Beltress styles are heat friendly, as you know. But I love the fibers on Beltress, they are so super soft. I prefer them to Raquel Welch's heat friendly fibers. Um, I just do. I just think they're gorgeous. So uh, the tones are just super gorgeous. Now there's some people who think you know, they don't prefer this on me. My natural hair color is really akin to something like the um, John Renault Eclair. which is a mix of gold and ash, but it's more gold than ash. It's much darker, obviously. Um, but yeah, let's, let's take a look at this again. All I did was take this out of the box, shake the heck out of it, spritz it with a little sea salt spray to kind of separate the fibers and put it on my head and part it. That's all I did. She's really a great summer wig. Although I haven't been wearing wigs much this summer. I've been wearing baseball caps. But fall is coming. Always does. And are these tones beautiful? I just think it's gorgeous. So, I've never seen Kona in Cream Soda Blonde. I looked and looked for one on eBay and in clearance. Figured it was a needle in a haystack. It was kind of a unicorn. So I went ahead and ordered one. And uh, there you go. So, what'd you think, ladies? Yep. 
Do you think this would be a good transition to gray color? Even though it does not technically have any gray in it, it's extremely ashy to me. It has a little warmth. Yes, it does have some warmth, but it has a lot of ash. So, good to be with you again, ladies, and uh, y'all have a great weekend. Bye.